Do it again. Ah. Oh, hi, Jordan. Yeah, hi, Jade. Get, Jade, get your legs back a bit. I don't think I can. All right. All right. So, what do we want to talk about, Jade says. What we're going to talk about, Jordan says. What we're going to talk about? All right. Well, first off, you really, everyone knows that you talking, so you don't say that anymore. I know. But, you know, I don't know. It's just something I do. I can never stop doing it. So, the first thing I want to talk about is, you know, there's these folks out there. You know, the folks that, um, you know, they bitch about, you know, WWE. And they say, oh, it's no fun anymore. And they don't know how to do anything right anymore. And it's not like the old days. Well, when they're talking about the old days, Jade said, what are they talking about? Oh, well, for them, the old days would be 9, nine between 82 YL to 9 between 93 YL. And then they said everything was bad from 9 between 93 YL to 9 between 97 YL. And then they believe that it was all good again from now between 97 while till 2001 while. But some of them say that it was good from 19 between 97 while till 2009 while. Then they bitch about how it's bad. Yeah, well, some of them say that it started going, some of them say that it went bad in 2001 while. You know? It's like you can't win with them. No. I mean, that's right, Jordan. At the end of the day, there's going to be folks out there, well, it's just they're never going to be happy with it. It's never going to be good enough for them. You know, they're always going to bitch about it. You know, in their mind, it's bad. And in their mind, it's never going to be good again. So, it just is what it is with them. I mean, you're right about that, Jade. But it's all in their mind. There's no truth to it. Like they can't, like if they were under oath to tell the truth that WWE was good back then and bad back then, they could not. Because they don't, there, there's no truth to it. They could have their thought and belief on it, but that's all it is, a thought, a belief. There isn't anything to make it true. You know? Like, even if they go, even if they could go back to nine between ninety-seven YL until at least around twenty oh one YL, and then say, "Well, look, here's all the watch time that USA was getting, and here's all the watch time that TNN was getting at the time." Well, that would just show a lot of folks for watching it at that time. It wouldn't mean that it was good, you know. You know what I mean, Jade? Yeah, I know what you mean, Jordan. I know what you mean. Like, that's the only truth they could have. Oh, look all this watch time that USA and TNN got back then. But, you know, that's all that would be. That's the only thing they could say. It got a lot of watch time back then. But they couldn't say under oath that it was good back then. I mean, they could say that, but then they'd be lying because there'd be no truth to make it true. Hold on here, I gotta put my feet back a bit. So, at the end of the day, it's their thought and belief. And it's been their thought and belief for years that it's been bad. Yeah, well, what about these IW followers and these AEW followers out there, Jordan? You know, the ones that go around saying, oh, IW's been good for eight between years and AEW's been good for one year. Oh, and Dixie Carter and Shao Kahn, they know what they're doing. Vince McMahon doesn't know what he's doing. Well, first off, that's their thought and belief, you know. That's their thought and belief, Jade. They have no truth to it. They can't go out and say that Dixie Carter and Shao Kahn know what they're doing. And they can't say Vince McMahon doesn't know what he's doing. I mean, they can say it. 
but there's no truth to it. And once again, under oath, they can't say that Dixie Carter and Shao Kahn are doing good stuff in wrestling that Vince McMahon is doing. I know it's kind of hard, you know, for but there's no, there's only their flaw, their belief. There's no truth to it. They can't show it. You know. You know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, Jay, they can't show it. There's no truth to it. Yeah, but that's their belief, uh, Jordan. I mean, that's their belief. They think that Dixie Carter and Shell Khan know what they're doing, and they say Vince McMahon doesn't know what he's doing. But that's their thought and belief. They have no truth to it. But then again, these IW followers and AW followers, they just get behind anyone who fights Vince McMahon because they don't like WWE, so they don't like Vince McMahon. So that's why they're only that's why they're only following Dixie Carter and Shell Khan. Because Dixie Carter and Shell Khan are fighting Vince McMahon, so they love them. In their mind, they hate WWE. They blame WWE for either killing WCW or ECW, or they blame it for whatever the fuck they blame it, whatever the grounds that they hate it for. I don't know the sake, but whatever it is, they hate WWE. And so, if anyone fights WWE, then that sees them as a good doer in their book. Well, well, at the end of the day, Jordan said, that was me and Jade, my sister, talking about, you know, the hate that WWE gets, the IW and AEW followers and how some of them behave like, how they have their thoughts and beliefs, but at the end of the day, they have no truth to make it true. You know, so it is what it is, you know, and if you like that film, then watch the film I made yesterday over here or follow me here at Jordan Long. I'm Jordan Long and I hope you like this film.